Welcome back to another video from Alex Does. My name is Alex and we are back at the site. If you're new to this channel, thanks for coming along. Um, so what I'm attempting to do here is build a bushcraft base camp site in the Australian hardwood forest. If, if you're new to the channel and the content, you think you're going to like that, make sure you uh, hit the subscribe and the bell and the like. For all the uh, regular viewers, thanks again for coming along. So we're back for another day and night and probably half a day at the site. Got here reasonably early, it's about 9.30 in the morning on a Sunday morning. Already got the, uh, the tarp and everything set up. It's amazing once you uh, start doing the same setup between the same trees a few times in a row, how quickly you can get everything uh, set up and that whole process streamlined. So the site's looking pretty much exactly as I left it. Nothing really has been disturbed. The wood pile is still there. Um, nice and dry, high up off the ground, which is good because we have had some rain last night and during the week, just a little bit. Um, beautiful day today, lovely blue sky, but again, we're uh, forecast for um, possible thunderstorms this evening. So that will be interesting. And I think they were predicted to come at around about 6 p.m. So um, we'll have to plan uh, the cooking and the meal and all that around that possibly so planning on having a bit of Mexican Mexican in the bush for dinner this evening my plans for this trip um, I'm going to try and keep the chatter to a minimum and just focus on the work this week this weekend um, or this trip and uh, just try and get things done I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, try and do try I'm not going to plan to do overly too much but there's a few things I'd really like to achieve I'd like to uh, get the shovel out again and do a little bit more levelling of the surface, maybe expand it a little bit better than it is already. The other things I'd like to do, I'd like to uh, um, possibly get some post holes in the ground, maybe some posts selected from the pile. And in terms of actual bushcrafting, I would like to, I think it would be a good idea um, in terms of my preparation for this build to have a decent sawhorse. So I'd like to maybe select something from that pile over there and uh, build a sawhorse. All right, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to crack on. Before I do any of that, I need to get some water and head down the creek and, and uh, get me water for the trip.
That's the saw horse done for now. I'm pretty happy with it. The rear legs are really turned out really solid. I'm quite happy for that with those. The front's a bit, there's a little bit of a wobble on the front. I went for a three leg design simply because being an uneven surface, three legs are going to find themselves better than four legs where it might get a bit tippy. Um, certainly seems solid enough to uh, take my weight. No worries. So uh, I'll be quite confident standing on this thing if I need to get up on high. And uh, it's going to be a lot easier cutting wood and processing wood and stuff, or well, at least woodworking wood up at a standing level rather than bending over. Um, there's a couple other additions I want to put on it. So I'd like to cut a bit of a V in the center here so that I could, if I lean one of the big logs up this way, it'll sit in the V and not roll over. And I also want to put some uh, pegs, probably one here and one here, one here and one here that'll hold a log that way. And uh, they might be removable, but eh, that'll come. So progress from made already. We're, uh, it's not even midday. I've got four pulse, post holes dug. As you'd expect, the uh, the ground's fairly hard. It's not far before you go through, you know, four or five inches of topsoil, and then you get into that really high clay-based, sort of degraded sandstone start, like really compacted stuff. Um, I measured out a proper three by three meter square and uh, I think that's going to be plenty big enough for you know a bench down either side that can be both seating and bedding but uh, anyway I'm glad I got that done. <laughs> There we go, all four posts in the ground, eh? That gives you an idea of the size now and the scale of things. And I'm pretty happy with that. I'm glad I didn't go any bigger than three by three. Yeah, they're only just sitting there. I think a slight breeze would blow them over at this moment, so, which is fine, because they've all got to come out again. I'm still thinking at the moment I'm probably gonna burn the bottoms of them just to make them last a bit longer in the ground. And, uh, which I'll probably do this evening, maybe, after dinner, maybe, or tomorrow, or next week. <laughs> I've got to level them off. I think this one here needs some taken off. I'm going to leave that one as it is. That one there needs a little taken off. And then I think that one there looks about right. So, by my laser eye level. So, there we go. For now, I'm thinking it might be beer o'clock.
Well, the weather's starting to move in already, as predicted. I'm starting to hear some thunder in the background, so I had to quickly stop works and uh, get a fire going and um, quickly get my tent up again before the rain come. Funnily enough, it hadn't actually dried since uh, last uh, week, so <laughs> it's about to get wet again. Um, all right, so I'm gonna have to let these coals die down. Um, I managed to get the tops of these poles kind of level, um, eyeball level, just chopping the tops off and a little bit flatter. Some of them are cut on a bit of an angle. Um, they're good enough, so I'm pretty happy with the progress for today. Um, I'll obviously take these poles down before I decide to get into the tent. I don't need those blowing over and cracking me skull while I'm asleep. So now it's just a matter of sitting back, waiting for this rain to come and hopefully between now and then I'll get some I food. I mentioned before I'm doing uh, Mexican tonight so I'm going to whip through this real quick because that's uh, I can hear that thunder getting quicker and quicker so I've just got a plastic bag here with some fairly generic uh, Mexican style seasoning and a big ass rump steak so I'm just going to uh, chuck that straight in the bag and give her a mix. Oh, I can feel rain coming. I think we might get rained out here. Alright, let's get this on the fire. While we're waiting for that, I'll just knock up a quick souser. Oh, I'm getting rained on already. This isn't good. I might chuck the wrong bit. A bit of cucumber. I need to make a table, I think. Some tomato. Here it comes. That'll bloody do. Mix it up. Salsa. Right, I'm gonna go put this under cover. All right, we've had a disaster with the tortillas because they're bloody sticking together. So, I might just uh, try and chuck, chuck them all in the pan, see if they'll, um, unstick oh, cooking at its finest eh almost I'm gonna, uh, I'll just finish this off in the pan, I think. All right. That'll do, uh. Ah, freaking hot. Rightio. Meat. Bit of salsa. Oh, squeeze a lime. Cheese. I've got time for avocado, I don't think so. But I'm not going without sour cream. Sour cream. <laughs> oh. 
Ugh. Chipotle sauce. All right. Managed to get it done before the rain. Here it comes. Mmm. Mmm, yum. Cheers. I think we're about to get a downpour. Mmm. All right, I'm going to enjoy this. I'll see you later. Well, it sounds like there's a freight train coming from that direction. So, um, this could get interesting. I don't know if it's wind or rain. Getting closer. I think it's rain. That storm lasted for about four beers, um, it's about two hours, and uh, yeah, it's broken now. It's a little bit of drizzle, but uh, now that I've got the tent up, the tent's kind of in the way. I moved a little bit more dirt just over hit over this side here while it was wet, and um, yeah, with the tent here, there's not much I can do, mind you. It's uh, heading towards 6 p.m. so. Trying to settle down for the night. The fire's obviously well and truly gone out, so I don't think I'll bother getting that going. I'm just going to uh, kick back and chill and listen to uh, the sounds. There's been an awesome lyre bird over there. I tried getting on camera, but um, I couldn't see it, but I could certainly hear it going through its repertoire of uh, other bird calls. It, it Spot on, it would do... Um, it was doing some sort of hawk or eagle and then it would do uh, a kookaburra and then uh, a magpie and a, a couple of other calls that was really cool to listen to. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to chill out. Uh, I think my plans for the morning are going to be, I'll get up, typically I'll get up fairly early. I've, hopefully it won't be raining in the morning and I'll, uh, I'll get the fire going and um, have some brekkie and hopefully get the bottom of these uh, uh, poles burnt and then we'll stick them back in the ground. I might actually pack some dirt around them to uh, get them permanently sitting upright.
morning. It's a bit of an overcast day. It rained um, from when it rained last night when I was trying to uh, rush to get dinner done. The, the thunder and lightning continued and there were a couple of breaks in the rain but it pretty much drizzled and rained all night. So everything's fairly wet this morning. The rain appears to have stopped for now. Um, it's still completely overcast, but I'm hoping at the moment that that's going to burn off. It's still fairly early. It's 7.30, so I've had my coffee, just having a bit of brekkie, the baked egg wraps, and I've got a bit of cheese and sour cream and chipotle sauce on there. Bloody lovely. <clears throat> so I'm going to smash down a couple of these, and um, I'm not in a hurry to leave today, so um, I want to, I may need to chop some more firewood, but I'm going to get this firewood going and see if we can get the bottom of these poles charred um, yeah we'll just take the day as it comes and just try and make some progress I don't know what's worse to compete with at the moment, whether it's the noise from the cicadas or the noise from the logging that's probably only about a, less than a kilometre in that direction. It's been going on all morning. Anyway, there we go. Now you can see there the four posts are up and in and they're not coming out again. So I'm pretty happy with that. Certainly uh, plenty of headroom. Not coming. This is pretty much where ground level is going to be. It's going to need uh, a little bit of finessing, but even still, so this will be the lowest part of the structure. And uh, that's more headroom than I've got in my motorhome at home, so it's going to be big for me. Um, so, and they're all roughly the same. Yeah, so there we go. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, obviously got the tent cleared up while we had a break in the rain. Oh, and um, okay, let's talk about the addition to the sawhorse so you can see I'll put the I don't know what your pegs on or ears or whatever just to hold a log along there and I've made them so that they're removable so I can take them out and have none if I want or if I've got just a smaller piece I can I can put them up here and if that one does come out there we go put another one there and just have them like that and then say for example let me get a bit if I was just saw in a small piece of wood it makes a huge difference makes it a lot easier being able to do that standing up so there we go I'm pretty happy with that too hey so there we go so I think it's been a fairly successful uh, trip I don't know if I'm gonna do any more today um, I might just do some looking and thinking about what I'm going to get done the next time I come. I think this is really all I wanted to get done today on this trip, so I'm pretty happy with that. So anyway, there we go. That's uh, the trip wrapped up for today, for these two days. I'm really happy with the progress. Um, obviously, uh, we were a little bit rained in, or might have got a little bit more done had the weather been a little bit better. Um, but uh, that's the way it goes. You can't beat the weather, you just got to work with it, eh? 
All right. Well, thanks for coming. If you're new to the channel and you like this sort of content, please uh, like and subscribe and share. Jump on the socials. I'll put the links in the description. Um, come and enjoy and, and enjoy. Come and enjoy. Enjoy the conversation. Come and come and join the conversation uh, and talking about this bushcraft build because um, I'm no expert. Um, I'm just giving it a crack. Thanks for viewing. Bye. I have made a slight change to the plans.